What's up developers, it's Dari here and I hope that you're having a great day and in this video I want to customize Tailwind classes. Before we continue on, I want to quickly let you know that you can support the channel through Patreon where you can get access to my private Discord group where everyone is helping each other out with their coding issues. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. In the beginning of this course, we generated a Tailwind Convict file but we haven't really used it up until the previous video where we added custom fonts to Tailwind. This one right here. And don't get me wrong, most of Tailwind utility classes will do most of the work for you. But sometimes you just want to customize some values, and especially in the color department, since the default values might not be what you need. Or think about the shades, is it really enough or do you want to customize shades as well? Besides that, you can easily add new behavior to your Tailwind class. You can create a new CSS file and add it inside your index.html file, but is that really the way to go? Even if you got a current website using CSS or SCSS, you can easily integrate Tailwind since you can add a lot of customized classes in it. If you don't have the tailwind.convict.js file, don't worry, since it's an optional file. If you are alright with all the Tailwind classes that are available, you don't need it. But if you do, or you want to watch this video obviously, you can easily regenerate it. So let's do that first. Let's delete the file. Let's say move to trash. Let's open the terminal. And inside the terminal, let's run mpx space tailwind css in it. And as simple as it is, Tailwind created the convict file for us. This is alright, but if you want to change something up right here, you got to redefine every single class, which might take quite a lot of time if we think about the colors and font sizes for instance. There's even a way better approach, but we got to delete the file. So let's do it one more time. Inside the terminal, hit the arrow up, and right after in it, let's add a space, double dash, full. This will basically add the entire configuration of Tailwind with all values that are being used in Tailwind. If we open the file again, and let's close off the terminal, you can see that we have a lot more items right here. We have all our different screen sizes, all the different colors, all the different spacing elements, animations, and you know the drill. Scroll through it and you can see everything that we got. Now there are two ways how you could customize your Tailwind styling. You can either override an option in the list right here, then recompile it, or you can extend a styling, which will then override it, but your value in the theme section will still be available. Even though you might not use it, it is still good to have it. So let's start off by doing that first. Right after 2XL, let's hit enter, and let's add a 3XL, so a new breakpoint colon and let's give it a random width of 1800 pixels and let's change the small screen to 340. Now let's save it. Let's open our style.css file inside the CSS folder. Let's hit command or control F and let's search for add media. You can see that the minimum width is 640 and if we scroll down we don't have one of 1800. Now let's save both files. All right. We actually do need the terminal, so let's open it one more time. Now let me actually make it a bit smaller. All right. So in order to rebuild our CSS file, we need to run npm run build dash CSS. This will take a second, but it's probably not long. Our file has been saved to CSS forward slash style.css. Let's open it. And let's go up again right here. You can see that our minimum width, which was the first one, has been changed to 340. And if we scroll down, a minimum width of 1800 has been added as well. Now the downside right now is that we don't know what the value was right here. Well, we actually know, but it wasn't 340. Even if you don't use it again, it's still good to keep it. So what we could do is to go back and let's undo what we just did. Right inside of our team, well, it can be at the top, at the bottom, or in the middle, it doesn't matter. Let's create an extend section, colon, curly braces, and we need to add a comma right after the closing curly brace. Inside our extend, we need to redefine what we would like to change. So what we're going to do is to add a new screen. So let's say screens, colon, curly braces. Then in here, let's say that we want to add 3XL, with a value of 1800 pixels. 
Let's save it. Let's rebuild our CSS. Let's open the style.css file. You can see that the minimum width has been changed back to 640. And if we scroll down, we still got our 1800 minimum width that we defined in our extent section. Tailwind uses a total of 22 colors, but by default, only 10 are defined. And this is fine if you want to make something quick, but when you're working on custom websites, you do want to define your own colors. So let's do that as well. And in my opinion, it's better to create your own colors rather than overriding the default colors. Inside our extent section, let's add a comma right after the closing curly brace of screen. Then on the line below, let's say colors, curly braces. Let's give our new color a name of gold dash light. And let's set the value equal to hashtag F0E68C. Now let's add a second one as well. So gold dash dark colon. And let's set the value equal to 996515. What this will do is basically adding a text dash gold dash light class inside our style.css file. Right now, gold dash light and gold dash dark haven't been defined by Tailwind. But you could also overwrite a specific shade of, let's say, red. So let's do that. Right below our gold dash dark, let's add a comma. Let's say red colon curly braces. What we need to do right now is to define a new shade. So let's say that we want a shade of 450 colon with the value of CC0000. Save it, go back to our terminal, hit the arrow up and rebuild our CSS. Let's open our style.css and let's command F and search for text-gold. And right here, you can see that text-gold-light and text-gold-dark have both been defined. Then if we press command F one more time and search for text-red-450, you can see that we defined a new color of red with a shade of 450. This was it for this video where I showed you how you could customize your Tailwind CSS file. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button.